Miri. Today I want to show you how I do the preening with my hair. Most of you already know that I haven't been washing my hair for about a month. No, it's even more than a month now. And the reason why is that I just want to, like, it's just an experiment for me. Um, I just want to see if it works well with my hair and if it does, it's like the best it's like the best way to care for your hair. It's it's the guarantee for healthy hair. If it works well, if it works well for you in the long run. And at the beginning, there is a transition phase, and the hair gets more oily and everything. I, I've ha I'm having the worst, um, like the worst bit of the worst part of getting oily behind me already. But it still is not like 100% over. Um, we'll see how it turns out. I'm very open to everything. Um, yeah, and I want to show you what I do, what I currently do every day to um, distribute the sebum down the hair shaft until like to the very ends. Um, that is just the way that I do it. It doesn't mean it's like the perfect way or like the way to go. I think everyone has to like go go with the flow, how he or she feels like um, if you don't wash your hair anymore. And so far I'm tending to no water at all um, because it just works well. Um, don't worry, I'm still <laughs> don't worry, I'm still going under the shower, I'm still washing my body. I just don't let my let, let, let the water touch my hair. Uh, so I just bind it up. So enough ranting. I'm gonna show you what I do. And if you have any questions, like leave them down in the comments. Um, I'm happy to answer them like in a QA video or anything. As I said, I'm also just learning myself, so it's not like I'm the pro. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not like the pro coach to ask. Like I'm just doing what I think works well, and I just use a bit of common sense, and that is why I'm doing this. I'm creating kind of my own. Most of the people in the internet use water and go under the shower and wet their hair and then distribute the sebum. Uh, but I just found it makes it dry, like makes my ends dry. So I'm waiting, I'm at least waiting for the sebum to reach my ends, which like I, it already came, you can see it if I come close, like it already came like maybe until here, but um, the last part is gonna take much longer because they're so much drier than the upper part, so I assume it will take like month. It may take like a couple of months more, but I don't know. I just go with flow, and maybe I can inspire some of you. Maybe I can help uh, some of you with my hair routine right now. And really, like I love this regimen. I do. I do it every evening. I'm doing it in the afternoon now, so you have a bit light and you can actually see me. Um, so, but I really recommend doing it in the evening because your hair is going to look very oily after that, okay? And that is because you're, you move the oils down the hair shaft and you kind of warm them, warm them up and move them. So it, it is like just logic that it's going to get more greasy because it takes time for the oil to soak into the hair, for the hair to soak the oil up, okay? So you don't have to worry if you go to sleep and then wake up in the morning, um, it's going to be soaked up. So, and then in the morning, you won't look as oily. Yeah. I love this method because it's so relaxing and it's like a wellness, a wellness, oh, ah, I forgot something. What is it? Hello? Oh, here. I have the lighter. And because it's Christmas time, if it works, mm, yeah, it works. Yeah, I make it comfortable every 
evening, like make it really nice. Then I'm having my hair care routine after dinner, before I go to bed. And it's so relaxing, it takes some time. I do calculate like half an hour right now and what is supposed to happen in the long run is that you don't have to take as much uh, time for it and also you don't have to do it as often, the preening, because there won't be as much oil as in the beginning to distribute. But right now I still, like I really don't mind doing that and I really don't mind taking that time because it's so relaxing and it's actually fun and it feels like you really do something very, yeah, good for your hair. So, I'm starting off now. What do you need? A comb, this hair thingy, I don't know the name. <laughs> By the way, I'm having this wonderful, beautiful green smoothie. It's green kale, like kale, <laughs> and bananas, one kilo of bananas. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna need a towel because yeah, the the, the comb should be a, a made of material that distributes sebum. So I'm starting off. So th this is the only thing that I'm not doing every time I preen my hair. Um, I'm only doing it. Like maybe every like every other day because so this is what I mean. It's massaging the scalp. It's actually the best part of the whole regimen because it feels so good and it's so relaxing. And I do this actually I do this to warm the sebum up at the scalp and. But at the same time, and also it, it promotes hair growth, but at the same time it just it, it, um, stimulates sebum production as well. So your scalp will produce even more sebum and I think that it already produces enough sebum right now, if not like too much, but that is normal in the uh, transitioning phase. So and then when I have sebum on my fingers, you feel it, it's very oily, then I put it to the ends because that's where I want it. Yeah, but I don't do it every time, even though I love this part, uh, yeah, just to, to make sure it's not producing like unnecessarily much of the sebum. And I've noticed that the day, like the morning after, a day that I massaged, uh, yeah, my hair looks oilier. So, and that, you do want that, like you do want your, se your scalp to produce sedum, sebum, but right now, in the beginning phase, there's already like enough sebum anyway, at least for most people. So, just do how you feel like, and how you think, like, it feels right. So yeah, and after, that is also, I'm doing it also just every other day, um, I scratch. That means I'm scratching very, very, very lightly to loosen up any hardened sebum or like anything that has clogged up my scalp pores. And it's just, just do it like it, the way it really, really feels good for your head. Oh, it's so relaxing. I love this. But enough for now because I've done it yesterday. Again, sebum into the ends. It's the best conditioner in the world, okay? <laughs> and when you've done that, 